Hey there guys, Ian here and today I'm bringing you another tutorial and this is covering a effect that I did in one of my latest intros for Pomage. So this is the intro here and I'm going to be teaching you um, how to create these lines uh, that kind of come in and out of the scene and a closer look at it would be here where I've rendered out separately um, the lines for you to see. So we're going to create something like this, uh, they'll fly in and have this glow and uh, this distortion kind of electricity raw effect and we'll just jump straight in here and I'll make a new composition by pressing command N and a new solid by pressing command Y. So here we have our blank composition and we just want to go up to our pen tool at the top and start drawing some lines. So we'll start at the center and just start drawing these kind of zigzag lines coming out and then when you've drawn one just click off the layer start again and as you want them all to go to the same point just click anywhere drag it onto that center and start drawing another line. And what we're going to end up with is a kind of almost like a spider web of lines coming out, probably only about five or six lines in total, but this will get the effect that we want. So just change each line up so it's slightly different as lightning will never really look the same um, in different places. So we're just going to keep drawing a couple more on, making sure we keep going back to that center point. And it doesn't matter if they're the same length or not. Um, just kind of keep getting them to the same point um, in the center and dragging them, making sure the final point is off the screen. So now that we've got these lines here, what we want to do is on the layer, right click, go to trap code and 3D stroke, which obviously you have to have the plugin to do. And we'll get these uh, lines coming out, which for some reason on the first frame aren't connected to, there we are, um, which are connected to our mask points. If you want to hide the mask points, just press Control Shift H or Command Shift H on a Mac, and that'll clear things up. So we're going to change the color of these lines to a slightly um, yellowy type color and the thickness down to about two just to kind of get a more um, a finer uh, line anyway and change the end point to something a little bit like this and now if we animate the offset we can create this kind of pretty cool um, strike. So we're going to set a keyframe at about the offset of 100 on frame 0 and at frame 1 we're going to bring this down until it disappears. So now we have this animated line coming in. Now I know what you're thinking, it doesn't look brilliant and that's where the taper will come in and this will create this very kind of stylized um, strike which again looks pretty cool. So next we can kind of change some of the um, features under the transform if you look on this one they don't come from the edge they kind of come around and strike in the middle and that's just by using this bend and I set mine to 2 so you can see now it kind of comes in and strikes so I always thought this would make a pretty cool reveal um, whether or not it starts from in front or behind uh, it kind of comes in and strikes and if you ever want to increase the length of it you can just increase uh, the offset at the end uh, but make sure you change the offset here so now you can see we have some slightly longer lines and this may suit it better uh, you can see these ones are relatively long, um, so keeping the same style. So this is looking pretty cool. You don't have to have the bend if you want it to uh, come from the side, you can. 
if you want more of a bend, uh, just increase this to something higher. But I'm going to use somewhere between 1.5 and 2. And in this example, I'll use a bend of 2. Okay, so the next step I went to is adding the glow. So this is in the same composition, uh, same layer as uh, the 3D stroke, or you can add it to an adjustment layer um, so it affects everything. So you can see straight away just by adding it, you get this pretty cool uh, stroke. I'm just going to change the intensity a bit down, maybe the radius out a tiny bit. And this is more or less the effect. Uh, you can duplicate the layer, and on the duplicate, just add a distort and turbulent displace. And now you just got to change uh, the complexity and the size to whatever suits your scene. So straight away, we get these pretty cool lines, and. You can make it as crazy as you like if you want to go kind of this mental um, or just change it down slightly. Of course you have um, different types of turbulent noise as well uh, for you to play with and if you want a variation you can always just duplicate the layer again and change the evolution to something different. If you want these two to be slightly stand out slightly less you can always change the opacity down on those two layers and we get this really cool effect um, really fast and this is more or less what I did um, in my intro here in the final result as well I had a um, flare in the middle so when it strikes um, this flare uh, comes out from the center and we have uh, the same effect kind of spiraling out of the logo and also traveling around the masks of the logo itself and you have these dots which are Trapco Particular which kind of fade and follow the lines as they uh, come into the center. So this is a really cool effect if you wish to have something coming out of your logo um, or anything really, it can follow the surface of it. If I just shut off two of them, so we're back to our original just so I can show it off, um, you can actually put a camera in and use uh, a composition camera. So if we make a new one down here. Uh, what you can actually do is move around in 3D space and this will all follow um, the camera wherever you put it. So this is a really cool uh, tip if you're potentially using Element 3D. So when you're using the composition camera or if you export the uh, camera out of um, Cinema 4D. It means you can create these really cool um, strokes. Uh, even this is pretty cool. Uh, just from the top, uh, you can create these really cool um, kind of light effects, which will look really cool. Oh, keep saying cool. Uh, really good on any logos, uh, logo reveals that you have. Um, so yeah, if you do use this for anything, feel free to put it as a video response. Again, I keep like, I keep seeing um, stuff you make, and to be honest, it's it's probably better than what I can do. So um, yeah, keep up the great work, everyone, and uh, yeah, let me know how you implement this into your designs because I think it's a really cool technique, and some people ask me to make a tutorial and here it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this guys and I'll see you later.